Hi, this is a tutorial to show you how to work on Lab 4 for Viewer Recruiter 1010. It is not identical, and the reason for that is that you need to work on it um, to know more about the software. So, um, it is something like it, but not the same dimensions. You're not going to be copying me, so you will get more practice. Be go for your project for engineering. So, um, we will be producing something like that. Uh, I will start first by opening a new one. Um, name it whatever you want to name it. Lab for um, tutorial. And then I'm gonna click on OK. Um, first of all, you need to know that it's gonna be looking like this, just from my default things before. Um, first thing, first of all, uh, I like to to play with the with the uh, with the uh, the with the units first because uh, you need to, to to put the units to be centimeters, not inches. Um, the, the the units are by, by default inches, but you want them to be centimeters. So you will go here, file, and then prepare, and then model properties. You'll see here it's inch. You're gonna change it here. <laughs> Choose centimeters and set. Uh, you will see here two options. This is Apply if you already draw something, but if you didn't didn't draw anything yet, so you can just click here. Press OK, um, and you can close, and you will see that centimeter gram second. It's applied now. Now we, we can work. Uh, now the most important things in 3D modeling is sketching and extruding, um, because you sketch something on a 2D and then you extrude it. So first of all, um, uh, yeah, you will use those. And also here, this is an important thing here that we will be using. Um, this one here, which is uh, that give you all a different lock of your part, so you can lock at it from the top, or you can lock at it from the front, or you can lock at the different 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 orientation, which we will be like producing in the end. So we'll just lock at it at it from the top, and we will start sketching. Um, so we will start start sketching here. Click here. Uh, he will ask you which plane you're going to be sketching on. So you will choose this plane. Um, this plane, so we're gonna we're gonna be sketching on it and just press sketch. Uh, now you can start by doing a rectangle. Uh, there is like a rectangle here. There is an arrow. Uh, you can choose the center rectangle, which which will help you in just in such a symmetric, uh, in such a symmetric um, drawing. Um, you can start like this. You can realize that there is a point when it is like more like a square, and you will see that there is two perpendicular things that appear. That tells you that um, this is going to be a square. You, you want to make sure that it is not a square. Uh, we'll make it like a rectangle. And then this is a random rectangle. We, we want like the only thing that is just centered here. But what is the, the dimensions? You can click here, normal. This thing helps you to, to, to decide the dimensions. Uh, here the dimension. I'm going to put it here to be 30. And here, this dimension here, I'm going to put it to be 20. Now we have a rectangle. Uh, the dimension is inside the drawing. I don't like this. So you want to deactivate the normal thing by pressing on escape. So you press on escape, it is gone now. Now you can hold this and just put it outside here so you can have a good look of your, of your drawing. Uh, then you can draw some circles. Uh, you can pr press here on circle. You see that always uh, the, the software try to make your life easier. So if you're close to this axis, it's going to try to make it on the axis. But what we want to do is not actually in the axis because we want um, to have some dimension from the edges. So try not to put it in the edges, just put it anywhere else and just any R. But take care also when you put the R, it's going to try to make your life easier again by trying to, if, if you're, you're close to be tangent with it, you're going to put like there is a T that appears inside, but you don't want it to be tangent. You want it to be just a random circle. Uh, then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna now you wanna you wanna like define the dimensions for this. If you, if you press here normal, you will see like three dimensions appear. So um, it's just not clear. So I like to press on escape. So the, um, I can now get it outside here, and yeah, and you know, like have everything in place so I could see what I'm working on. Sorry, this is the problem that I'm trying to fix. So here we go. So now you can you can work and. You want the diameter to be, for example, one. 
So you can do it like this, or uh, let's say oh, I'm gonna do it two here. And then if you if you want this the distance here to be two, for example, then so you can do it like this. And this distance also to be two, you can do it like this. Now you have the, the, the circle here. For, say you want to make another four circles in the four corners and the same way. So you can start by doing a circle. Uh, you'll see that that now we're going to be using some some of the nice features. Um, the the there is like when you come here, there is like a green thing that tells you that the, the circle will be aligned with the circle top there. So if you press here, that means that any circle you would draw here will be aligned. But take care, we don't want the tangent again. But see here, there is something other than the tangent that appears, which is R. If R appears, this is what we want, because we want it to be the same diameter as the one up there. So if you click here, that means that it will be the same diameter and also it will be the aligned with it. So if you click on, on, on the normal to know the dimensions here, you're gonna see that, that just one dimension appears because the other two is already specified while you were putting the circle. So if you double click here, you're gonna be choosing it to be two. Um, yeah, now you have a circle in the, in the place. Now we wanna make another circle here. Uh, the same process again, put a circle to be aligned with this here. Just away from the, then put it on the, on the axis and just any diameter, uh, diameter. see the, the point here, some, some problems happen, like see, T and R, you, you don't want the T, you want the R, so if it is R here, that means this is the same diameter, if you, if you press a normal, you'll see you have one dimension only, which is how much away, and you, we want it to be two, two also. So sometimes there's problems, so you need to, to press on escape, so you get out of normal, and then you can hold this dimension here, wait a second here, yeah, get the dimension out here and then you can specify what dimension you want here is two uh, now we may not make the fourth circle and you will see that fourth circle will be much easier because you can locate it here you, you see that there is the blue and the the green one that means that it's aligned with both of them and then when you when you make it make sure it is R so it is the same diameter so now we have four identical if you press on normal here to know the dimension you will see that no, no, nothing will appear because you already specified the diameter by saying that they are the same R and the position here on the horizontal and the, on the vertical also by this by aligning it to this circle and this circle. So now we are not we are done with this surface. When you when you are done with any sketch, you press an OK, and then you go to extruding. Extruding here. Uh, it is extruding. You, you're you're just extruding it, but you can you're, you cannot see because you're looking from top. So you, you can look from front, for example. Or you can, if you like, to to lock from different different orientation. But I like to lock from front, so you can lock from front and just put the height. We will choose the height to be five. Okay, so five. You're 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 fine with this. Then you just click on K. We we have your part now. If you look at it from the different orientation, now we're gonna make the the part on top of it. So we're gonna be starting sketching again. So here's sketch. He he will ask you again for the plane. You're gonna be sketching here on top. So yeah, okay, sketch. We're gonna be sketching on the top, but also like try to, to always lock at it in a way that is easy. So you lock at it from top. So now I wanna make a cylinder. That says, um, yeah, make a cylinder here. The cylinder here. Um, I don't know how much diameter. Let's let's say we, we will be the diameter. The diameter will be like ten, or let's say fifteen. Okay, the diameter is fifteen. Uh, now. Now we get already our circle. We want to extrude, and we have the 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 cylinder. So we just press an OK, and we can extrude now. But we can lock it from the front, so you can see what's going on. I'll choose it to be also five. So five. So now we have our shape. You can you can you're done now extruding this part. You can have a lock at it from the default, default orientation. That's good. So um, if you want to now work in it to to make like a hole here, but the hole have a square, square uh, shape. Uh, you're gonna sketch again. You're gonna go for sketching and press on the surface here. Uh, click on sketch, and then um, let, yeah, I like to look on top so I can see what is going on. And then you're gonna do a rectangle, but we said we want a square, so you go like this. The point that we said that we don't want when we were making a, tri a triangle, uh, now we want it because we want a square, um, square right. 
So there's a point that you see the perpendicular things that come by green things. So this is square. So you just press now. So for example, if you go for normal now and see the dimension, you'll see just di just one dimension here. One dimension here. Why one dimension? Because it's a square. So you need one dimension. So I'm just gonna choose five, and then we are done. Um, I'm gonna. I need now to. I'm done with sketching. I want to extrude, but if you look at it, if you look at it from the front, from the front, you will see that it is adding another part. But you want to remove material. So this thing here is used to remove material. So you're gonna use it. But this arrow tells you which direction the material will be removed. So you click on the arrow, it goes the other direction. So now you can you can change the dimension here. The dimension here could. Well, I, I want to make it all the way, so it'll be 10. Uh, and then I'm going to click on Done Extrusion, and then I'm going to look at it from top, so I see how, how it works. I'll look at it from, from the filter orientation, from the back, from whatever, different orientation here. So this is what we want. Um, yeah, that's it. So there is another other part that you want to do. For example, if you want to calculate the volume for such a thing, you go for Analysis. And you go for the mass properties. Um, here you can specify the density. Let's say we're gonna put it 5.7. Okay, and then you go here. So if you click on this button here, let the glasses here, the volume will appear here, and it is multiplied by e plus 0, 3, which means that it is multiplied by 10 to the power 3. And this is the surface area, this is the density, this is the mass. So the density you give in the density, and then the mass is calculated and this surface area and that, this, this part is important um, and yeah that's it and also if you want to make um, a wire frame here here this part here we have been using this a lot but this one here uh, could give you different views of the of the, of the part so the wire frame is here so you just have the wire frame um, that's what you need uh, the other thing that you will need is that a shading one that is shaded but but you will need to put some text in any place. So for example, let's say I'm gonna put some text, um, let's say here, on this part. So to put the text, you just do the exact thing that you did, uh, as you did with the with the circle or, or with the, the square or whatever. You just uh, sketch first, sketch a text, and then after you sketch a text, you extrude the text. So he asking me for a, for a plane now, I'm, I'm gonna choose this here, and person sketch. So I'm gonna look at it from the right, from the right, so you can see what's going on, and then I'm gonna write the insert the text. So here's a text. So what do you do? Then you choose a place to start the text from, and the height for your text. Click one, and then you click another time, and you have the height of your text. But you can change it later anyway. So you just put, uh, let's say, um, uh, tutorial t t t u t on k, and and just say okay. So now you have the text. You can press in a normal, change the, the like you have the dimensions here, this dimension, this dimension, the height, and like you can change what, what you want to change. For here it is okay, we, we don't want to change anything. So yeah, I, I'm gonna be done sketching now. And then will be the part to extrude, uh, to extrude this. Uh, so I can look at it from top so I see what is going on. So if I look at it from top here, um, I want it to be less than that, much less, so let's say 0.5. Um, okay, and let's have a look at it from the default orientation. This is how it locks. Um, I'm gonna be done extruding this way. It's gonna be locked straight, just click anywhere here. You will see how it's printed um, tutorial or TUT. Um, that's it, and yeah, and you're, you're good to go. It is, it is it's a that simple. Yeah, and you, you didn't need anything else. Um, just just work with this function that you learned here. Uh, remember, I'm gonna give like a quick review. Um, here's the sketch extrude, and then here you have the where you change your planes and everything. And here here there's some 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 things to help show you the planes and the axes. You can remove them if you don't like them. Um, that's pretty much it. It is not a hard thing, but just remember that you calculate volume and um, text before you put uh, volume and surface area before you put any kind of uh, text because this is considered part of material of, uh, of the of the part also. And that's it.
Uh, if you like it, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever. Do, do school things. Thank you.